Okay, so this is the um, cube halter. Uh, this is, you can um, have any configuration when you open up the software. Personally, I think this view here is the best view. It gives you all your patient data. It gives you all your summaries. Um, you can click on an icon and go straight to that strip, but we won't do that quite yet. We have, so for instance, we can go up to the RR, and this is your full recording. Okay, right along there. You can have it as a table. I prefer the trend. Okay. All events, duration whole, or if you need to, you can break it down into six or 12 hours. Here, you can click on anything. So what I usually do first is go in here, have a look at my RR to let me know how clean the recording is. Do I need to, mm, are we picking up too many um, topics? Do I need to change the count? Have we got a lead here that we need to cancel? Uh, so this is a good way of just going through it. You can do it like this, but it will take you forever. I just go to bits where it looks a bit high and just double check. Okay, so there we can see the reason why for that is because it's not a beat. And we just put it into artifact. <clears throat> Okay, so it changes it to artifact. So how I did that was you highlight it, you right click, you go to the modified and you can choose it. You can all just so on your keyboard for normal point press N for ventricular V and um, A for artifact if you're a keyboard wizard, but I'm a mouse person. Um, you can, if you see something really nice here, I'm sorry to say this is a very boring, normal um, uh, halter. The only thing, he gets a bit of junctional uh, rhythm at night time when he's snoring. So what we can do here, say for instance, we see something quite pretty and we want to add it to the report, as we can do this. Then I come anywhere in this color bit, right click again. You can insert whatever you need to. All right, so that's that's a good function there. We can add here, so we go into the event bit there. We can either pick something that's already pre-populated. So once you've typed something in here, you can, uh, it will populate again for you. So you can do that function as well. Okay, so we're happy that this is quite a clean recording. However, if you find it's it's the um, analyst is too much, we can come up here, okay, the three dots. This is going to change to a better icon um, where it's easier to see. This is where we can change the analyst and also the report configuration. So we can go in here and change it, especially if you've got premature um, beats and things like that, and you're finding it's it's not correct and um, you need to change it, this is where you come in and change it. So if you've changed something, you come in here, you push OK, or you reanalyze it. That's the reanalyze button there. Here, plain and simple, plain and simple. And again, as you can see, you can put it to say it's got a pacemaker. Um, and you can tell it what type it is. Also, the three button icon, report configuration. As we know, some like a lot, but most don't want all these um, templates. Um, so you can highlight what you want. You can do your um, header report. It will show you that. And your summary of the results, you can highlight what you want in that um, report. Okay. So we'll go back to the report page, which pops up when you first go in here. As I say, you can go to these by clicking on it. Yep, I agree with that. That's pretty plain and simple. Okay. 
And then you've got the other ones along here that are related to your RR summary. So you can highlight this one. Yep, okay, that's not artifact. That looks pretty good to me. Yep. Your heart rate. So these are automatically populated in your report. Okay, you don't need to take a strip or anything like that. And there's your max. And I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we can go back to the report page. So you can go through here and check these out if you want. I won't bore you too much. Um, if you've got more than one or two on here, so for your events here, you use these wee buttons here to scroll up and down. Okay. Okay, we can go to our templates now. So I'm happy with the, the recording, um, that its quality is good. Now we can go to the templates. Pretty um, self-explanatory here. Up here, you can either have ventricular or normal. All right. Channels, what leads you want on, what you want off. You can down here change your gain and speed and on and off with your filter. Down here, it gives you a whole total of all your templates, um, which is quite good. Here, this is the start of the recording. As we know, this is when it's doing its little analysis and having a look at e uh, everything. These are your templates of the, the morphology of the normals that look similar, as we know. If we want to merge, we uh, left click and hold and go to there and it will ask if you want to join just because this is a practice one and maybe it's not the same I'm just going to say yes this is really quite good to actually um, bring down uh, the amount of templates you've got there if they all look the same okay which they basically are so you can go along and merge these together so that looks pretty good it's kind of already been cleaned up um, So there again, we can insert something if we see something nice. Okay, templates are pretty simple. Um, I don't know what more I can say about that. We are in the future going to get a template that will take you straight to super ventricular beats templates. Uh, it's like a shortcut, so that'll be added as well. Uh, if you want to jump along to everyone there you can use these arrows up here okay just use the arrows to move to each template so you can have a good look anything that's highlighted like this means it's going to be in your report okay so it's been added to your report already as in a strip events this bit I really, really like. This is very easy uh, to use uh, this halter as an event recorder as well from the patient um, pushing the button on the recorder. But however, it's very good to be able to go through and have a look at all your events. Here again, you can move to the event. So these markers here, we're highlighted here so if I click this button again it moves to that event okay and this is Brady by the way or you can go back I always keep it on trends because I like to see all this um, so at the moment we've got whole you can take it down to 12 or 6 hours if you need to event you can um, go to whatever event it's seeing. So for instance, we're going to use Brady, say, as the patient marker. Sorry, the, the patient didn't use the marker at all. It comes up with marker. Um, so what you do is it will bring it up. Now, the beauty of this is you can scroll straight to that button push. With your mouse, excuse it, my mouse wheel on my mouse is currently broken, but just pretend that I'm scrolling in and out. So for instance, this is where the patient push the button, you can look before and after the event to see if there's anything else going on around that push of the button, and then you can take a strip of that. The reason why I say it's very good for an event uh, monitor is you can do seven days, so the whole seven days would show up here, and just think of it um, a bit more squashed. 
and you can quickly scroll to all the markings that the patient has pushed the button and have a look around them, take strips, do what you need to. Yes, we're kind of all used to the old loop recorders. Um, I find this much easier. Um, you've got a lot of data there, I know, but you may see something that you may pick up that a loop recorder will never pick up. So you've got the ability to do 24, 48, seven day event all in one unit. The beauty of that is you don't have to swap in and out of recorders. You get familiar with the recorder. And so it, it's a, a all in one device really. So that's your uh, events. So down here as well, if you don't want to use the Dropbox, I'm a Dropbox person, um, you can go to these events here, okay? Here, I notice, yeah, I don't agree. I'm just playing around so you can see the functionality of this. Add to report. Okay, so if it's not an event where you've got it already, it's just something you want to add to the report. Gives you when the uh, event happened. Now here you can change the lengths of the strip that you are going to create. And here you put your remark. It could be something from the diary, patient experience, chest pain, palpitations, whatever it is. Then you push yes, and that goes to your report into the strips. Okay, so I'll do that again for you. Highlight, just pretend. Okay, we're going to call this the baseline as we do over here. In New Zealand, we always have a baseline to start with the start of the test. We usually take 15 strips. Okay, and then boom. All right, pretty plain and simple. Again, if you need to, you can change your lead, your format, gain speed, filter on, everything here. All right. If you want to move, remember, to the next event, just hit the button and you can go there. Remember, if you need to, sorry, my wheel is broken um, from overuse. You can scroll in and out with your um, wheel. You can use calipers, so it's just, again, left click. Click on whatever you need to, and it will bring your caliper up. I think that's pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing more there. That's pretty much so. You can scroll down here to get to your next one. Pause. These are your pauses. Okay. And I concur with that. And there's another one there. And I concur with that. Okay. So remember, if it's already highlighted, it's in your report. You may want to, after an event like this, take another strip, um, add to report, and then you can just put post SVT or whatever it is, um, and you can take, you know, pre and post, or you can lengthen out the whole recording. Depends on how you practice. We go now to uh, ST segments. This is pretty self-explanatory here. Um, you can change... Yeah, where your takeoffs are, where your J point is, everything like that. Okay. And we can do that for the QTC as well. Here again, you can go up to different um, equations that you want it to analyze as. There we go. Okay, so that's showing you that in the green, it's the RR. In the purple, it's the QT. Um, pretty self-explanatory here where you can just, you know, move them about. Um, sorry, that's my dog in the background. Okay. Again, you've got... Um, <laughs> typical. Again, you've got um, buttons here where you can go to the different um, 
equations and bits and pieces that you want to okay so you can click along here remember if it's highlighted like that colored it's added to the report again if you see something and you want to add it to the report you can insert a for remove the um a for pen selection um it's yeah quite user friendly <laughs> Heart rate variability, this template will be uh, being removed, uh, hopefully replaced with a template for strips. So you can go straight to your strips, your automatic strips, strips that you have made. So as you know, you might be in between cases and you want to do a wee bit of analysing on your halter and you see something, can you take a quick strip of it? You want to be able to go back to that and actually... Um, label it correctly, have a look at it, um, increase it, decrease it, you may want to remove it. So this, you really, there is no functionality to it. It's just showing you the figures. There's nothing you can do on here apart from see when the things happened. Um, so this will be being removed. So don't worry too much about this bit. Okay. Here again, we come to the report page. Um, you're quite happy with that. You can actually, um, conclusion is really nice. It's down here. You can tap away to your heart's degree. Um, it's endless. You can write a novel if you want. It depends on your practice. Uh, with us here, uh, especially in Christchurch in New Zealand, we do quite a lengthy report. Now, the beauty of this report I have found to other um, software I have used you have to sometimes hand write down, you yeah, know, your maximum RRs and that because you're having to flip from, say, one template to the other. Well, you don't. It's all here. You just need to look at the screen. And if you have, uh, it's your practice, you have to write it in the report. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. As usual, the heart rate variability is just gives you all your numbers that you need to know. Again, if you need to look down, you can look down. Here is where um, you you sign it off, okay? You put the date in, you can go in on the calendar or whatever you want to do. And then once you've put someone's name in there, your doctor or if it's your practice that your physiologist signs it off, that you sign it off. And then when you hit the report button, which I won't do, um, it sends it off into our web app, Um as a PDF report. So we know when there's a PDF report in web app, we know it's been signed off um, by whoever's uh, got the authority to sign your halters off. Um, you can go now, what's my mouse gone? Go back into the report, just in case you forgot and thought, oh, I forgot to put that, and I forgot to put that, and I forgot to put my QT. Okay, so you can go in there and add there, which is a nice function as well. Um, so in basics there, there is, as I say, we are in the midst of updating the software. There's some really nice um, new workflow coming. Um, the AFib detection I find personally, and one of my cardiologists um, here in Christchurch finds is quite, quite good. It's very, very good. Um, whereas it's the way the algorithm looks at the tracing uh, compared to what I've seen other um, software do. Um, it's it's very, very good. Uh, with a good quality um, tracing like this, you can have this analysed in five minutes. Uh, we did one the other day, a seven-day as an event recorder. I had it done in four minutes. Um, so it is very good. And that's about all, people.